take a load off. You're watching Nintendo TV. Coming up in episode 5, we find out which of your favorite celebrities love Nintendo in our exclusive battle feature, have a hacktastic history lesson with an exclusive Assassin's Creed 3 interview in update. But before all that, we're taking to the skies with Angelic Adventure, Kid Icarus Uprising. You've got to feel a bit sorry for Pit. The hero of Kid Icarus Uprising has been waiting 25 years to get back in the Sky Saddle, and no sooner does he return than his evil doppelganger turns up and starts stealing his heavenly thunder. The good news is that the wait was totally worth it, because Pit's 3DS debut is brilliant, like soaring open mouths through delicious candy floss clouds. It's also huge, which is why we here at Nintendo TV are doing a series of three features delving deeper into the world of Kid Icarus Uprising. This month, we're getting acquainted with the game's mythical menagerie of characters. The game takes place in Skyward, a fantastical kingdom ruled by the goddess of light, Pugitana. You control Pitch, the captain of her personal guard, who uses Pugitana's magical gifts to fight all kinds of evil. And there's plenty of fighting to be done, because the former queen of the underworld, Medusa, has risen up with the intention of destroying mankind. Honestly, those Snowdrift wings aren't just for show either. With the Goddess's aid, Pit gains the power of flight, and he takes to the skies to repel the forces of the underworld. It's impossible not to love Nintendo's winged hero. Even when faced with spectral fiends in the parasitic Chaos Kin, the plucky cherub remains remarkably upbeat. It says a lot about Uprising that even when the world is in peril and the gods are turning against mankind, there's still plenty of laughs hidden amongst the sweat, tears, and callous thumbs. We have a fortress near the entrance to the underworld in Reaper Valley. <laughs> Which is where? Reaper Boulevard? Add this to the frantic, challenging gameplay that we'll be exploring next month, and we'd sooner have a staring contest with Medusa than not play Kid Icarus Uprising again. Stay tuned to Nintendo TV for more on Nintendo's Celestial Hero. Look! Up in the sky! What is that? It's your monthly Nintendo update. Coming at you in a horde of historical accuracies and tomahawks to the face is Assassin's Creed 3 on Wii U. Ubisoft time-bending action and makes its first appearance on a non-handheld Nintendo console, and we chatted to Ubisoft's Tommy Francois about how excited he is to be working on the Wii U. I'm super excited to be making an Assassin's game on a Nintendo console. For all Nintendo fans, they will finally get to see what a truly next-gen, high-end type of game is. I think the visuals will blow people's pants off. Look out for more Assassin's Creed 3 news coming soon on Nintendo TV. Rhythm! You have it or you don't. In our case, mostly don't, but thankfully Sega's Rhythm Thief and the Emperor's Treasure on 3DS does have it. It being some amazingly original gameplay which feels like having a crazy dance mat in the palm of your hand. It's all very Japanese and weird and feels a bit like Professor Layton with some added rhythm-based puzzles. It's out now in Sainsbury's and on Amazon.co.uk, but you can get a taste of the joys of playing Raphael the Red-Headed Thief by downloading the demo for the game from the Nintendo eShop. The follow-up to the palette-busting epic Mickey is coming this year in the form of Disney epic Mickey 2, The Power of Two. This paint em up adventure now sees you able to take control of both Mickey Mouse and Oswald the Lucky Rabbit, whom we've been assured is definitely a real character and not just the game designers having a laugh. We spoke to lead designer and video games legend Warren Spector about where his studio got their inspiration for the new game from. We went back to the original cartoons and the scripts and storyboards from, from those cartoons that Walt made many years ago. And what we discovered was that Walt Disney was a game designer. He didn't know it, but he was a game designer. I mean, he had, he had the character doing amazing things, removing arms and legs and throwing them. I mean... We're not doing this in the game, but he could take his head off and use it like a bowling ball. We just went back to the original sources and said, Walt, well, show us the way. You'll be able to check out Epic Mickey 2, The Power of Two, on Wii this September. This month, Nintendo TV walked the glittering red carpet of the 2012 Battle Video Game Awards to experience the highs and lows of a show so star-studded it was like an A-list miracle. We weren't there just to backslap the winners, we were there to grill some celebs in our video game quiz to see just how much these celebrity gamers really knew. So, here we go. First question. It's a toughie. What is the name of Mario's brother? Luigi. 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 I 
don't know. I know what he looks like. Oh, yeah. Oh, come on, Charlotte. Second question. What color is Sonic the Hedgehog? Blue. 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 Is he yellow? Red? Blue. <laughs> Next one. What was the name of the hero in the Zelda games? Zelda? Zelda? Yeah, I was going to say Zelda, but it's not. Graham. Guys, guys, someone please get this one. Uh, <sighs> Leave it to Mad Men, Dish, Aaron Staten to save the day. I mean. Okay, how many simultaneous colours can the SNES display? 1,024. Four. 256. 256. <laughs> well, score one for the ladies taking down that oh, quick hey. toddler. And the final question. In what game did Mario make his gaming debut? And for an extra bonus point, what was the year? Super Mario. Oh, was it not? Oh, Donkey Kong. Donkey Kong. Oh, it was for Donkey Kong. Donkey Goat. <laughs> in the 70s, wasn't it? Or a d decade after that? 1993. 1980? 1981. I'm going with 81. Correct! Ah. Nice one, fellas. Both Alex Zane and Jonathan Ross managed to ace the quiz with full marks. It feels so good he's going to put those bastards in the bin. <laughs> Thanks to BAFTA for a splintacular evening. We'll be back next year with more Noodle Scratching Awards fun. <laughs> It's time to reach into the box marked amazing now, as we bring you the very best of the Nintendo eShop. First up is Potzel's Puzzle, a chunky 3DS puzzler that's certain to fulfill all your blocking hole needs. As you zoom through each stage, you rotate the pieces and line them up with the gaps that speed towards you. Shoving bricks in gaps is all well and good, but if you want a mega score, then you have to build up combo points by grabbing the hearts that reside in each hole. It sounds easy, but as the pressure ramps up, it'll soon give you pleasant palpitations. There's even a bit of a story, a treat in any puzzle game, and the funky South American stylings mean Potzel's puzzle has well and truly stolen our hearts. We're going from ancient Aztecs to not so ancient Sega next, as we look at the classic Game Gear titles now available through Nintendo's virtual console. Zooming into view first is Sonic the Hedgehog Triple Trouble. Regarded as one of the snazziest Sonic titles to grace the sleek handhelds, the game lets you control the famous Blue Hedgehog or his genetically modified chum, Tails. Tracking down those tricky Chaos Emeralds is as addictive as ever. Next up is everyone's favourite ninja, Shinobi. Well, ninjas, actually, because this dynamic platformer is all about rescuing members of a Boro school of Shinobi, who each come with their own unique powers. The blue ninja rocks an awesome chain sickle which can be used to swing over gaps, and the mystical yellow ninja has magic blasts and the ability to walk on water. We have to feel a bit sorry for the pink ninja though, who got the worst outfit and the ability to walk under walls? Cheer up though, Pinky. Without using each of the skills, it's impossible to progress through the game. So you're all as important as each other. This classic Game Gear lineup is completed by Dragon Crystal, one of the toughest games ever to grace a handheld console. This trio of vintage Game Gear titles are available on the Nintendo eShop now. That's all we've got time for this month, but don't despair. Our robot monkey helpers are already hard at work constructing the next essential episode of Nintendo TV. Faster, robot monkeys. Faster! Thank <laughs> you.